Hello everyone and welcome to the part 3 in my Photoshop training. My name is TJ Style and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to work with the selection tools in Adobe Photoshop. My name is TJ Style and this is Cool Make Graphics. Make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so uh, selection tools. Selection tools are some people are like, if you don't have them mastered, you cannot call yourself a master of Photoshop. That's it. Period. It doesn't matter what work you do, be it digital painting, matte painting, uh, retouching. If you do not have these three skill sets mastered or like, you know, groups mastered, you're not a Photoshop master. Believe me, that's it. So I'm going to show you how to work with these three tools in different videos. And uh, basically, I'm going to give you some practical examples as to where I use them, where you can use them. And I'm also going to talk about all these different options that we have here. All right, so we have rectangular marquee tool. That's the first tool. That is a superb tool. It basically draws freehand uh, rectangles and uh, that's how you can make your selections, right? Really cool. Simple, but really cool. Believe me, believe me, believe me. Just kidding. Anyways, uh, what it basically does is it allows you to create free from rectangles. And a lot of people may think that, you know, style, why do we have to do that? Well, a lot of times you don't understand but these basic tools get, come very, very handy. They are used for creating, um, you know, motion, uh, sorry, not, not motion graphics, but graphics, graphic design. Like when you're doing poster work, when you're doing flyers work, and you want to fill your uh, content with different fill colors, this is something that's gonna come in handy a lot of time. Like, believe me, a lot of, lot of time. Believe me, believe me, believe me. Just kidding, I'm sorry. But again, this is very important. And uh, one of the places where I use them a lot is when I am doing my matte painting work. When I'm doing my matte painting work, awesome people, let me just take this to zero. Um, in order for, uh, you know, for me to give them a cinematicness look, what I do is I make like two rectangular boxes on top like this and like this, and I fill them with black color and boom, you have cinematicness awesomeness and this is one practical use of what I have what I do uh, with this tool again when I'm doing my graphic design work this tool comes in handy a lot of times when I'm doing my matte painting work again this is super super important so this is something that you just have to know uh, on top awesome people there are some different options and these four are very very important for you to understand of how they work and uh, you know that kind of stuff so basically the first option here is basically saying new selection you're gonna draw a new selection okay that's it that's simple by default when you have drawn a new selection you're automatically gonna jump to this one and this basically says add to selection you can see right now awesome people you have like a small plus on your cursor. so if anyone is watching on a, on a lower resolution please I suggest you switch to high HD uh, full HD so you can see everything you can, you can see that my cursor has a small plus to it and that basically means that you're gonna add to selection. So if I was to create another selection, you can see that they don't cancel each other out or they don't, uh, you know, or I just don't get the second selection. I basically join two selections and I add them. And this, like, they don't necessarily have to be joined in this way. You can also create another selection over here and it is still a part of this whole group. So that's an important thing. This is something and you know all these tools like this part awesome people I'm just gonna explain in this video I'm not gonna sit down to explain this to you in different selection tools because they work the same way and this is again like I said very very important so make sure you watch this uh, two three times if you have to but get this part down this is like you know the core of selections next awesome people is subtract from selections and basically what subtract from selection is is like removing parts from your selection so um, Say if I just want this selection to be there, I have created this another selection, I don't want it to be there. I can make another, like a bigger marquee around it. And if I let go, you can see that much part or that much selection has been taken away from because I'm subtracting from my selection. You can see that my cursor has a small minus to it. That's really good. And next awesome people, we have intersect. So click on this. And if I was to create a marquee and let go, you can see that where my two selections were meeting only that much part remains now so this is like also a very very important thing for you to understand this is also used a lot all right so this is important um so yeah this is where all these different things are used um 
a big and a very practical use of these two things like most of the times you won't be using the first and the fourth you'll just be using second and third and uh, basically you awesome people it's a lot easier at times for making an extra selection and then just removing small parts of it and sometimes it's the other way around sometimes um, you know it's difficult to select what you want so you make a small selection and then you can you know add stuff to it right using this option so again this is used a lot of times and they're used together it's not like you know on, on, on one image you're gonna have everything so good that you just have to make one selection and you have everything done that is hardly or oh, forget hardly that is never the case like at least in my career I have never come up with a situation where only one short selection was it you know so again um, all of these things are used now the keyboard shortcut for this this is very important keyboard shortcuts uh, right now you can see that I'm okay if I'm gonna go to my selection you can see right now I don't have anything it's like I'm gonna press Control D for deleting or for getting rid of the selection that I have running right now so Control D that's it drawn all what you can do is you can go to edit and um, actually you, know, you can go to select and go to deselect Control D there you go okay so um, basically make a selection that's what I did I made a selection and now awesome people let me show you how to use these two options with um, keyboard shortcuts so if you hold on the shift key you can see that you're gonna get like that plus icon and this is temporary if I let go right now I'm gonna go back to my you know new selection and basically what new selection does is if I was to say create a new selection you can see that my old selection gets deleted so that's also an important thing this is really good for brainstorming you know like if you have a, like a blank document you like to do this brainstorming super awesomeness right there just saying anyways uh, I'm gonna make a new selection and again hold on the shift key for getting to your add to selection and hold on the alt key for removing from selection so shift for adding alt for deleting and you have a superb piece right there this is like a house or something I don't know if I was to like tilt it maybe it is anyways I'm gonna delete this and that is how you basically work with your different selection options and your selection on your basic uh, rectangular marquee tool everything also people that I've just now explained to you in your rectangular marquee applies the same thing goes for elliptical marquee so if you were to hold on the shift key um, this is gonna constrain proportion that, that, that's something I think I didn't say I'm sorry um, but if I said I just forgot I'm so sorry um, anyways um, if you were to hold on your shift key you can see that you're creating a constrained proportion selection see that and if you were to hold on the alt key you can see you're drawing from all the you know directions that's also a good thing right and if you hold on the space bar you can move this around so and all the different things you can see they are the same options you can add the selection like this you can let me just make a quick cartoon hopefully this will be good I can add the selection I can remove from selection if I'm not mistaken it should remove like that and uh, basically you know you can make something really cool like that and I'm, I'm gonna show you how to work with them different options um, in another video like you know I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to the lasso tool in the next video and like I said selection tools are very important so make sure you watch all my videos thank you for watching my name is TJ style you guys take care and I will see you all next time thank you for